Hey guys and welcome back to another week in outfits. Today is Monday and I've just had lunch um, and baby's kind of dozing off a little bit now. I went out for a walk this morning and this afternoon I've got a little bit of work that I need to um, hopefully make my way through. It's starting to finally cool down in Sydney a little bit so feeling a lot more autumnal. Today's 21 degrees and I know that sounds warm and in the middle of the day it is but in the morning and in the evening it really cools down uh, and it's quite frost it feels quite frosty in the mornings at the moment. <laughs> I clearly I've acclimatized living here. Uh, I'll run you through my details for my outfit it today. The necklace that I'm wearing, which is also the only piece of jewelry I have on right now, is from Missima. This is the, I think it's called the Marina Twist Necklace. I've taken the opportunity to wear a little bit of knitwear today. So the sweater that I'm wearing, this is called the Johnny Sweater and it's from Lonvers, which is a, a very small uh, family run business based out of Spain. So it's this really gorgeous, like oversized, very thick merino wool sweater, which is ribbed and you kind of see these little flecks in the uh, navy wool. It's very beautiful and uh, definitely even just wearing it for the, for the couple of days that I have, it already feels like it's starting to soften up. It's a very, very thick. And I would say at the moment the material is probably a little bit stiffer. Um, one thing I didn't know, um, and actually uh, one of my subscribers, Anne, she messaged me on Instagram to say that they do custom orders so you can get customized colors for a few of their pieces. So I have been thinking about potentially ordering one of the Anna Cardigans in a custom color, which I think is really neat. Um, obviously it takes a little bit longer because it's made specially for you, but just a really cool idea because not many brands do that. Um, underneath, I'm just wearing um, a little t-shirt from Eveline. I like how you can see the white poking out the top of my sweater. My jeans are my Mott & Bow skinnies that you will have seen me wear quite a few times. I love the raw edge torn detail at the hem. These shoes are the Everlane Editor Slingback Heels which uh, if you watched my video where I talked about um, items that I wanted to buy but didn't, I mentioned I wanted a pair of Manso Gabrielle heels uh, which have a strap so you can adjust them but I tried them on, they didn't feel like anything special. These shoes are basically what I was looking for. I love the squared off vamp uh, and they've got an elasticated bit at the back so uh, they sort of will stretch over time. Um, I went with my usual size. I will leave all my sizing information down in the description box below. Um, I went with my usual size which is a US 9.5 and, and they do fit a little bit snug at the moment. Not too bad across the foot but at the heel I can definitely feel it. Sorry, they've just started some building works outside. They're doing the NBN, which is sort of this national broadband network here in Sydney. So I will quickly wrap things up. But yeah, the um, quality of them is really nice and they feel good across the foot. They've stretched across the foot already. I'm just waiting for the ankle strap, um, or should I say the elastic at the heel to stretch out and give a little bit. But yeah, so that is kind of a look at my full kind of autumnal cozy outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday today. Um, you have to be with the noise outside. They're uh, still doing work out on the street. Uh, I am just getting ready to bake my very first carrot cake using the KitchenAid stand mixer, which I um, decided to treat myself to. I've been watching so much Bon Appetit that I just felt really inspired to do a bit of baking. And I'm actually going to be baking Claire's carrot cake recipe. I will leave it linked down below. I was sort of torn between Claire and Chris Morocco's and I did a poll on Instagram and so many of you said to start with Claire's one. So I think I'm probably going to bake a whole bunch of different carrot cakes as I did get a whole bunch of recommendations as well for other recipes. Um, in terms of my outfit, uh, I don't have any earrings on, but I am wearing my Missima interstellar necklace and then I also have a couple of bracelets on. I'm wearing the Majuri Dome bracelet and then I've just got a uh, Lucy Williams for Missima bracelet on my wrist as well. Then I've kind of gone for an outfit that feels like wearing pajamas but it's not. So this sweater is from Everlane and this is one of their re-cashmere knits. So it's got merino wool and then recycled cashmere. Uh, this one, it actually buttons up the front here. It's got this nice little pocket. I went up a couple of sizes so I'm wearing this in a size large when normally I would go for a size small in their knitwear. The trousers that I have on are from Jay Ng and they're just a really beautiful pleated draped trouser with a bit of a crop to them. I'm wearing them in a medium because they do come up quite small but yeah I really love them and they're so comfortable. And then uh, the shoes that I'm wearing are just my Sam Edelman loafers which I've had for a couple of years now and 
a really good dupe for the Gucci loafers. So yeah, that is a look at my full outfit today. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday today and I've just finished getting myself ready. So I thought I would check in and show you what I'm wearing. You might be able to hear our boy in the background just as he's hanging out in the bed. <laughs> um, the weather today, I think it's about 23 degrees, very overcast. It rained overnight, so um, it's not too cold, but it's not overly hot either. Um, yeah, so uh, in terms of what I'm wearing, I don't really have any jewelry on, aside from this very delicate necklace, which is from Linnea. Then I felt inspired to wear this leopard print skirt because I had a request on my last What I Wear in a Week video to kind of share how I would style a leopard print slip skirt. Now, I do have one from Realization Path, which I've talked about before, and I have worn it a few times on my blog, so I'm going to link those posts down in the description box below just for a few other ideas. But for me, whenever I'm wearing a really bold printed piece like this, I like to anchor it with really simple basics. So because the skirt has uh, a black base to it, and the skirt is, <laughs> bless you, the skirt is from Karen Walker, by the way, because um, it has a black base to it, I've just paired it with uh, black items from my closet. So that's kind of how I would wear a print like this if I was really unsure where to even begin. Um, yeah, this skirt, I actually found it pre-loved. I had seen it on one of my girlfriends, told her how much I loved it, and she actually spotted it on uh, a pre-loved marketplace and messaged me and was like, you, I found the skirt for you, so <laughs> very sweet of her. Um, I have worn it with, um, I've got one of my little Everlane Pima micro rib tanks, which I love. I have them now in all three colors, the white, the gray, and the black. And they're just such great basics for wearing underneath things, for layering, especially during the colder months, but even as just a core piece on its own. Uh, over the top, I'm wearing a cotton cashmere ribbed cardigan. This is from Uniqlo and I've buttoned it up. Um, I've left the top button undone, but I've buttoned it up and then I've just kind of tucked it into the skirt like a sweater. And I really love the way that looks. Then because I kind of wanted to play out that feline element of the skirt, I have gone for my Charlotte Olympia kitty flats. And I mean, I know that we're all at home at the moment, but I love these shoes and I just kind of wanted to pull them out and wear them. So so yeah, there you have it. That is a full look at my outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Thursday today and it's quite an overcast, cloudy kind of a day. I think it's supposed to rain a lot. It's still relatively warm, around 23 degrees. Uh, I actually cut my hair this morning. Um, I cut off about an inch. Uh, just as I found it was getting a little bit straggly and I finally I think managed to get rid of all of the brassy bits that were at the ends so uh, that's a bit of a win for me um, but yeah in terms of what I'm wearing today I purchased these earrings from Ellery which is an Australian brand uh, they had a sale and I just really loved the style of them they're a zodiac earring so I'm an Aquarius which I think is really pretty um, I love Ellery stuff and I used to own quite a few things from the brand, clothing items, and then they just got ridiculously expensive. It's totally out of my price range now, so the earrings are probably one of the only things that I can really afford on the website. Uh, the other jewelry that I'm wearing uh, is my Muru jewelry. I think this is a C Apollo coin necklace. Then the lighting is dreadful, but then I'm also wearing a watch from Rosefield. I actually waited until they had a sale to finally buy one of these. I love the square face. Speaking of, it's literally just started raining. <laughs> so you might be able to hear that in the background. It's gonna be such a peaceful morning. <laughs> I've kind of gone for a bit of a monochromatic outfit. So I am wearing this um, merino cotton knit sweater from Everlane. This is in kind of a deep marine indigo blue. It's really nice and soft and cozy. I went for a size small. This is a slightly wider crew neckline, which is nice. You can kind of see a little bit of clavicle there. Uh, the skirt that I'm wearing it with is my Isabel Marant Etoile skirt, which I have mentioned this before, but I absolutely adore this and I uh, am definitely getting my wear out of it. I'm wearing it at least once a week, if not twice. Then the shoes that I have on are my Vanelli two-tone flats and these are the charcoal ones with the black suede cap toe so yeah that is a look at my full outfit today i'll see you guys tomorrow for my last outfit of the week
It's Friday today, so I wanted to check in with my final outfit of the week. It is quite chilly in Sydney right now, or at least for us. It's very windy and it's around 17 degrees. But just there's this bite in the air, which we haven't really had up until now. So I've got the heater on in the room, just keeping it really nice and cozy. Uh, yeah, I'm about to head out for a walk because I want to try and find some eggs and wasn't able to get any with our grocery shop this week. Um, in terms of my outfit, I'm not actually wearing any uh, jewelry pieces or anything like that. Uh, so I'll flip the camera around. So the sweater that I have on today is this really beautiful oatmeal one from Uniqlo. It's lamb's wool and it's from their recent collaboration with J.W. Anderson. It should actually still be available so I'm, I'll do my best to link it down below. This is from the men's collection because I really love the fact that it's a crew neck. The women's one is a roll neck and I did buy one of those in the navy. So you can sort of see the detail here on the yarn. I just think it is really beautiful. Um, just kind of makes it feel a little bit more special and it's also on the hem as well. I've just done a little bit of a, a French tuck into my jeans and I am wearing a belt today. This is my witchery mock croc patent leather belt that's reversible. Uh, the jeans that I have on are from Reformation. I've worn these countless times. You will have seen me wear them loads, I'm sure. Uh, these are super stretchy and very comfortable. It's almost like wearing leggings. I did get mine taken up and taken in because they were too long and weren't as skinny as I wanted them to be. Uh, so do keep that in mind if you have been looking at these jeans. Um, I have a 28 inch inseam and I just found the original length was super long. I can link the video where I purchased these and reviewed them up in the cards up there if you would like to see how they looked when I first got them. These shoes are my Sam Edelman loafers again just as they were in the bedroom and easy to throw on and as I mentioned because I will be going uh, out for a bit of a walk I do also have a bag today. This is from Poland and it is their Numero An Nano. I thought it was the mini when I did a review on my Instagram but it's actually the Nano uh, and I personally prefer this over the mini just as it's got the little top handle here and then the leather strap uh, because I like being able to hold my bags by the top handle like that if I can. So yeah, that is a look at my full outfit for Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching another week in outfits. I hope that you enjoyed this and as always do let me know what your favorite outfit was. I did switch things up and film this on my Sony camera as opposed to my Canon vlogging camera which I would usually use for these videos so I would love to know what you think about the quality. Uh, but that is it from me this week. I hope that you've all been keeping well and really looking after yourselves, staying healthy and safe and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new video. See you then. Bye.